always good to start with a nice cup of tea. Welcome to this video. In this video I want to teach you how to set up your Movi with the new version of the counterweight that they have. There is also another version of the counterweight, an older version of it. Um, the old version basically has a, a slightly different bracket, one with adjustable clamps for the weights. And it only comes with six weights, two larger ones, two medium ones and two small ones. If you want to learn how to set up the old counterweight for your Movi, you can check out the video that Caleb made. In this video we're going to be looking at setting up the new version of the counterweight with a bracket that has a fixed frame. There are two versions of this counterweight. There is a regular version and there is an XL version. If you bought it from Moment, you should have gotten the XL version. If you, could, if you bought it from either Movi or Free Fly Systems themselves or from any other store, you might have gotten the regular version. The bracket and pan weight are the same and most of the weights are the same as well. There's just a difference in the number of weights that you get. The XL version comes with some additional weights plus an extra heavy 80 gram weight which is mainly made for, uh, for larger, heavier phones like plus size or max size phones. The new version of the counterweight should have also included this little card. And on the card it tells you what's included with the counterweight. And it also tells you uh, how to set it up if you have an iPhone 8, 10s or 10s Max and you want to use it with just the moment wide lens. On the inside of the card you've got some detailed instructions on how to set it up. Just the basic setup, balancing the roll, balancing the tilt and then balancing the pan. If you are going to use the weights that are listed on the back for the wide lens or if you're going to use any other lens or lens with a filter, you might want to follow the instructions on the inside. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to set up the counterweight so you should be good to go after this video. Feel free to, to tag along, grab your own movie, grab your own counterweight and just go along with me. You can pause the video anytime you want to. The first step that I do when I want to set up the movie is actually not preparing the movie itself, but I'm going to prepare my phone. For this video, I want to prepare it with my go-to filmmaker lens, which is the moment anamorphic lens. So let's pop off the lens cap. And next up, I want to use the 62mm filter mount. Already got the adapter for the anamorphic lens on it. And I've got a variable ND filter over here. So the phone is ready. Now it's time to prepare the movie itself. First step is actually really simple. I'm just going to take the movie. I'm going to rotate the arm a little bit so it's not in the locked position anymore. And I'm going to start with the bracket. The bracket itself should have four thumb screws, two that you can take out which are used to mount the bracket onto the movie itself and the other two thumb screws should go with these, uh, with, with these gaps over here and those are used to loosen up the gaps for the, for the weights. Just make sure that you can properly read the word movie on here if it's installed. The, the top bracket should be a little bit further away from the phone than the bottom one so you actually have to hold it like this and then place it onto the Movi like that and in order to do that we're going to use these two thumb screws. I'm right handed so I'm going to have to do this the other way around. Just roughly screw in one a little bit. I'm not going to tighten it all the way so I can still rotate it like this until I've screwed in the other screw a little bit and then I'm just going to screw in both. If you don't, if, if you don't do it well enough there's a rattle so make sure that it's nice and tight. Don't over tighten the screws just be sure that it's fixed on there properly. Now that the bracket is installed, before mounting the phone I'm going to do one more thing and that's taking some of these weights. There are four different sizes. I'm just going to show you all the different sizes first. Oh, put that like that. There should be two very small uh, 10 gram weights. There should be different 20 gram weights 
and the number of 20 gram weights depends. If you have a regular set, I believe it comes with five. If you have the XL set, it comes with seven of these 20 gram weights. The regular set also comes with two 60 gram weights, as does the XL version. And the 80 gram weight, the biggest one, is only for the XL version of, this, of the set. What I'm going to start with, I'm going to take these two 60 gram weights. I'm going to open up these clamps, the top one and the bottom one. And I'm going to carefully push in one of the weights at the bottom. Just tighten it again and at the top. Sometimes they might go in a little bit difficult, so you can just open it a little bit further. You might have to actually push it in a little bit. And I'm going to tighten it again, just so that it won't slide around. No need to over tighten this as well. So now the bracket is installed. I've got a 60 gram weight at the top and one at the bottom. Now it's time to insert the phone with the lens and if you wanted to, like I did, a filter. So just gonna press the back of this, of this clamp over here to insert the phone. And usually you would mount the phone past the bracket to balance it. But with this bracket on it, there's only one way you can insert the phone, which is like this, so it's nice and snug again against the back and push it against the bracket. You can release the clamp and then you would notice that the phone is most likely going to fall over to the left, especially with a lens and a filter because it's much heavier than those two 60 gram weights. There are actually three things we need to balance, which is the roll, just to make sure that the phone is not falling to the left or to the right, like it's to the, falling to the left right now. There's the tilt action and there's also the pan action, that's the one we're going to do last. Let's start with the roll first. And in order to do that, I'm just going to make a guess on how much weight I need to add. And usually I want to add a bit more weight to the bottom rather than to the top of the counterweight. So I'm just going to start with three 20 gram weights to the bottom. Probably not going to be enough. And it's really just trial and error here, especially the first few times you try this. And I'm actually going to try it with one at the top, just to see how that works. And phone is still falling to the left, so that means I need to add more weight. I'm just going to add another one at the top, so that the top one now has two 20 gram weights attached to the 60 gram weight, and the bottom one has three. And the phone is still falling over, so it's not yet perfectly balanced, but I'm already getting close, so it's not falling as much as it did before. It's falling a little bit slower. So I'm just going to add another 20 gram weight. The 10 gram weights are really to fine tune the balance if you need to. I'm just going to add this to the top. So now that there's just as much weight to the top as there is to the bottom. And as you can see, the phone is not really falling to the left anymore. It's still tilted slightly to the left. That means that I could add a 10 gram weight on either the top or the bottom. And I'm going to do that to the bottom just to have a little bit more weight on the bottom. And it looks like the roll is actually nicely balanced now. If I'm going to place the movie right in front of me, so that I'm looking at the screen of my phone, and I release the phone, I notice that the top of the phone is falling away from me. This means that the weights need to come towards me. And I'm first going to do that really roughly. Just going to slide both weights, just going to loosen these thumb screws again. Just going to, lose, just, just going to move both the bot top weight and the bottom weight a little bit towards me, and I'm going to see what it's what is going to happen? Not too far. Just going to tighten them up again. And now the phone is not falling away from me anymore. If it still is, then I need to adjust this. But now I see that the phone is actually falling to the right, which means that I've added too much weight. So I'm going to remove a 20 gram weight over here. Or actually, two are coming off. So if that happens, no worries. The nice thing about these weights is that they come with built-in screws, unlike the old version where you needed a little screw and actually some tools to, to properly tighten it, and you don't need it with this one. If you do want to properly tighten them, the 10 gram weights actually do come with little slots, so if you have just a regular screwdriver with you or even a coin, you can already tighten them. And it looks like I do actually need the other 20 gram weight as well, so I'm just going to put that back on there. As I said, it's really just trial and error, especially the first few times around. And I'm going to remove this 10 gram weight from the bottom. There we go. Let's see how the roll is doing. The roll is doing good. But now the phone itself, the top of the phone is 
Well, now it looks good, but the top of the phone easily falls towards me, which means that I need to adjust the bottom weight. Just gonna unscrew the bottom screw a little bit, and I'm gonna actually push the weight a little bit away from me. And again, this is just trial and error to see which one it's falling. Now it's falling away from me, so I need to push it slightly back. It's really about micro adjustments, so you just move it like a millimeter at a time. I'm not gonna do it a full centimeter or full inch. Now the balance actually seems pretty nice. At least the tilt balance that is. The roll, it still is falling slightly to the right. So what I'm going to try to do here is just remove 120 gram weight from the top and add it to the bottom, which means that I do need to adjust the tilt again. But the bottom one is actually a little bit closer to the middle, so that's also a nice way to distribute the weights. If, if, the, if the roll is still a little bit off, you can actually move one of the weights from the top to the bottom or the other way around to have micro adjustments for the, for the roll as well. And now the roll action itself looks okay-ish. I'm going to see what happens if I attach the 10 gram weight to the top. I think it might be a bit too much. And it's okay if the phone isn't perfectly balanced. needs to be close enough so I'm actually gonna leave it well with or without 10 gram weight doesn't seem to be making a lot of difference it's either gonna, gonna slowly fall to the right or to the left phone is still falling away from me so I'm gonna move the bottom weight a little bit towards me again and I'm really gonna remove the 10 gram weight because the phone is still fall I'm gonna remove the 10 gram weight because the phone is falling to the right a bit too much. Now it looks like it's nicely balanced. If, it, if the balance is perfect, which is a little bit harder to do with this weight, the phone should stay like this if I put it like this. It should stay like that if I put it like that. It should stay like this. So the balance seems to be pretty fine. And this is with the anamorphic lens and the filter mount and a variable ND filter on my iPhone 10. And I've got a, a 60 gram weight and two 20 gram weights at the top. A 60 gram weight and four 20 gram weights at the bottom. So I've adjusted the roll, I've balanced the tilt. Last thing I need to do is balance the pan and in this case it doesn't look like I really need to do that but if I'm gonna use the movie I'm gonna use it in different angles. I do want to do that and for the pan we're gonna need this pan weight, this little clamp over here. If you are using a plus size phone, you can use one of these 20 gram weights and attach it to the side of the clamp. I'm not gonna do that for my iPhone 10, but if you have 10s Max or an 11 Pro Max, you might want to do that. I'm ju I've just loosened up this thumb screw of the pen weight, and I'm gonna carefully move the pen weight. Just need to loosen it up a little bit further, and the weight should go over the front arm. And you can tighten the screw again, not too much yet, so you can still move it up and down if you need to adjust that. If you feel like the pan is off a little bit, you can move it up and down to, to properly balance it. And this is how you balance the move. If the phone is still falling slowly to one direction, should be fine. The motors are strong enough to handle that. And if I want to, I can now switch on the movie and everything's balanced really nicely. I'm just going to put the movie into sleep mode. If you want to use a microphone, you can still do that with the counterweight attached. All you need to do is just make sure that the hoodie and the microphone are on the handle. There we go. Next up, I need to connect the microphone. And in order to connect the microphone to your smartphone, and if you have the, this, this, this Rode microphone, you need to have the the SC2 cable, not the one with two black ends, but the SC7, uh, I said SC2, but I believe it's the SC7 cable actually, uh, which has one of the gray ends with four segments. The black end goes into the back of the microphone. The other one can either go into your phone or if you have an, uh, an iPhone 10 like I do or another iPhone that doesn't have the uh, audio jack anymore. You need this little Apple cable. The bracket itself has a little gap over here. 
so you can still reach the lightning port of your phone so I can actually insert this cable over here to connect the microphone and now if I power up the movie again we're all good to go and that's how you set up your movie so just to summarize for you first thing I did was prepare the phone make sure that the lens is attached if you want to use a filter attach the filter then you're gonna prepare the movie that means you're gonna attach just the bracket make sure that the one that's a little bit further to the right a bit further away from your phone is the top one and you're gonna insert a 60 gram weight into both slots then you're gonna insert the phone make sure that it's nice and snug against the bracket and against the back of the clamp and then you're just gonna balance the roll by adding or removing weights you can use the 20 gram weights if you have a heavier phone I would recommend using the 80 gram weight on the bottom just play around with the weights until the roll is balanced then you can move the weights towards you or away from you to balance the tilt the top of the phone is falling away from you move the lower weight towards you if the top of the phone is falling towards you move the bottom weight away from you and last thing you need to do is attach a pen weight and if you have a plus sized phone you can just connect a 20 gram weight to it you can just screw it in and that's really how you set up the new counterweight for Movie.